Hey guys, I'm Oliver with Motionary, and today you're going to learn how to stabilize your clips inside Final Cut Pro, and of course a few tips for troubleshooting. Whether you want to shoot a video clip on a cinema camera, DSLR, or even just a smartphone, you may find it shaky and needs to be stabilized. Final Cut Pro offers an inbuilt stabilization feature that allows you to stabilize your footage in two ways. Let's take a look at the first two clips on the timeline. Notice how the first has some slight shake on the pan and the zoom, whereas the second has more shake on the horizontal, vertical, and rotational axis. So let's try to stabilize these clips by adding the stabilization effect. Select the clip you want to stabilize and go to the video inspector on the right side and scroll down to stabilization. And that's really how easy it is to add stabilization to your clip. Final Cut Pro will analyze the selected clip for a dominant motion before trying to stabilize the clip around that motion. While the automatic feature often works well for footage with a little shake, you may need to make further adjustments for footage with extra shake. To help with this, you can also select whether you want Final Cut Pro to use the inertia cam or smooth cam setting. Inertia cam is a method mostly used for camera shots with pan and zoom type movement, whereas smooth cam can be used to smooth out horizontal, vertical, and rotational shake by cropping into the clip. Let's try inertia cam, where you can control the smoothing by adjusting the slider. But be wary, the higher the smoothing value, the more you crop in. Here, you can see the original shot. And then we transition into the same shot, but with the inertia cam enabled. Let's move on to our next clip and try out the other stabilization setting, smooth cam. Here, you have three more controls. Translation gives you control over the horizontal and vertical movement. Rotation gives you control over the rotational movement and scale gives you control over the z-axis to define how zoomed in or zoomed out the clip is. While inertia cam may be more simple to use, smooth cam may give you better results once customized. If we take a look at the before shot and now the after shot, you'll see just how much work the stabilization has done. So now that you know how to add stabilization to your footage and customize it, how about a few troubleshooting tips? When using the smooth cam method, you should be very careful to ensure any rotational movement isn't showing black bars across your footage as Final Cut Pro tries to account for any excessive shake. If you found your footage is well stabilized, but you do have black bars, you can try cropping into your clip to account for the black bars. In addition, something else to be careful of is warping, which occurs when the stabilization method isn't able to successfully analyze for a single dominant motion. If you find your clip has warping, even after adjusting the parameters, we suggest either going without any stabilization or choosing a different clip. And there you have it. You've just learned how to stabilize your clips inside Final Cut Pro and how to customize that stabilization to get the most out of your clips. So guys, that's it for me. And I hope you enjoyed this video on stabilization in Final Cut Pro helpful. And feel free to check out all of our awesome Final Cut Pro templates, transitions, effects, stock footage, and more we have to offer at Motion Array. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.